Hey YouTube, Rural Pipe, Wes. Uh, thought I'd do a little video about uh, my pipes that I've got. I don't have many pipes, probably only have sort of seven or eight. Um, I usually rely on donations being from Yorkshire. Uh, I often buy pipes, just prefer them to be donated. I don't really. I have had a couple of generally say donated, but no, I do buy my own pipes. Despite uh, Yorkshire's reputation for tight people. <laughs> hmm. Smoking my Sasquatch Bannard. Wow. Beautiful. Really nice. And in it, I've got some Glen Quelch's uh, tobacco, Swamp Flower. Which I believe is Virginia, Perique, Turkish. Nice. So, this week, Yorkshire, third top destination globally to visit, globally, behind somewhere in India and somewhere in Australia. There must have been an Indian and an Australian on the judging panel, that's all I can say. Yeah. Third. I mean, we do have a lot, you know, a lot of attractions. You think in York Minster Cathedral, we've got some Royal Horticultural Society gardens in Harrogate, I think. Whitby Abbey linked to Bram Stoker Dracula. Um. Yorkshire Gold. We sell Yorkshire tea bags. Maisie, leave him. Jasper. Um, it's just our dog. He's going nuts this afternoon, one of them, for some reason. Something's spoken in him. It's Halloween, isn't it? You see, that's it. Now in the sticks. I'm not a fan of the dark as it is, and if he's already spooked. Anyway, yeah, Yorkshire gold. 240 tea bags in there. Got a couple of them, because they're on offer. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's Yorkshire and there's Yorkshire Gold. The Yorkshire Gold are uh, just them finest tea bags. So it's like Yorkshire's tea is filtered, you know, and then this is what's produced. Yorkshire Gold. Nah, is what I've got in here. No, the teapot. Don't let it stew. Sit it in there for. I go for about ninety seconds. Squeeze against the edge twice. Tea bag out. Then put the milk in. Don't ever put the milk in with the tea bag. Don't do that. If people do that, that that is the um, tea bagging first with milk and then hot water is the mixture for um, wallpaper paste. So if you're ever wallpapering, just put tea bag in, dry tea bag with milk, and then add add hot water, and then just off you go. Put it in your paint, in your uh, paste tray. Get your brush. Off you go. Stick for years. That. Don't do that. God sake. Oh, oh. You've got to get it right. It's like putting lemonade in whiskey. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, that's a message, come to Yorkshire. Come to Yorkshire. So my pipes, right, okay. It won't take long, because I've got many, but here we go. Um, obviously we've got my first ever pipe, which I'm not gonna spend too much time on. My Peterson. Good smoker, really good smoker, one of the best. Um, nice shape. I like the way it sits, you can see the difference there. This is quite more of a full bend. I think it's on Paul, isn't it? Um, that, yeah, that's nice. Um, this is the, my estate pipe, my Dr. Grebo estate pipe, um, which I give a right good clean out. Um, I think if you can see that on there, the grain's quite nice, a bit of bird's eye on the bottom. Real light pipe. Um, see like the ring going round it, and then that little sort of silver band there. And that smokes surprisingly well. It does gaggle a bit, but you know, 
probably more me. I've shown you my um, Astley's before, so I won't go into that in too much detail. Um, but that is again a nice pipe and a nice smoker. My Falcon, which I got a pipe shop in Leith. Um, I don't often smoke this, I don't know why. It's, it's nice. My dad used to sit and smoke uh, St. Bruno in this. Mm, good pipe. But as I say, under smoked, really. Um, this is my Danish. I don't know a lot about it, you probably. It, it says on it Danish Sovereign. What's that? If you can see that in there. And that smokes pretty well. I'm sure somebody had it before me smoke Condor in it. That's what I do. But it just sits. Just a firm, nice firm pipe. Um, and then I got this, which is a Prince. Got this from Smoke King, Greens in Leeds. Uh, Meersham Land Bowl, Tanganyik and uh, Meersham. Smokes really well, but the problem is the, the thread's stripped. You know, it's kind of in and out. I've put a bit of beeswax on to hold it, but it's good for a nice small short smoke, but by hell does it gurgle around them threads. Condensation, I, I don't know what it is, but... I always look at I should be looking there. That, looking, that ain't looking at you, is it? Um, Cobb, one of my first ever pipes. I'll be honest, I like smoking it, but... Not as good as me. I don't like smoking it as much as my briar pipes. Uh, Peterson. This was gifted to me. This what a nice pipe, real nice rustication on it. Hardly smoked. Um, I'm rubbish at this, but you get the general idea. Uh, 120, I think it is. Sort of, it's kind of. Um, you can kind of see that roughly there. Uh, so yeah, that's a nice, quite a big bowl on that. But this, I mean. This this is a brilliant pipe, this Sasquatch Banhad. It there's just no there's no gaggle. Ever. See the grain on it? Just no and then the flame there, I mean that's a super pipe. Just sits beautifully in the mouth, nice and light, silver bit there. Silver little silver band and then as it say um is that right way? I'm hopeless at this banhad. Now this this is really good. My little stone haven. Uh, spot seven quid, I think, from Greens. Just go out and take a dog out. Take a dog out in it, with it. Uh, go for a walk with it. Have a shower with it. Come anywhere you want with that. It's just our deal. Sits real nice and light, light in the mouth. Put a flake in there. Great stuff. Seven quid. Smokes. Too well for seven quid. Too well for seven quid. Um, yeah, so they're my pipes. I, I don't know much about the <clears throat> the kind of science behind laminar airflow and all this kind of stuff, but there's got to be some reason. This is not a cheap pipe, is it? And that does not gurgle. That's probably the most expensive of the pipes, and there's no gurgle there. I know there's an argument to say cheap pipes still uh, produce good smokes, and they do. This, this is, it just, wet. there's just no gaggle on it. Of course it gets wet, but it doesn't gaggle. And it smokes superbly, superbly. Mm, really nice. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's pretty much me. That's what's been going on. Been watching some videos. It's finding the time. I am trying to watch people's videos. Um, next pipe has got to be. I'm going to get a Doctor Plum Dinky. Got to. That'll be coming from Glen at some point. And I've got to get Eagle Claw Meersham. Like old pipe popsies. I used to watch his videos two, three times over, and I went back and watched his Eagle Claw from new, and then watching it colour over the months. Wow, that's a fantastic looking pipe. The way the claw colours, fantastic. So in the next couple of months, I mean, it's my birthday coming up as well, but my birthday is right on Christmas, so you get all the tight people that buy you, like, shampoo for your birthday and conditioner for Christmas. 
So, yeah, that's going to be on my Christmas list. Um, 